Welcome to Elizabeth Thomas Reynaud from ICC. Today she presented a cyber security guide and uh, all these guides different from other tools for business that have been already published. Well, the International Chamber of Commerce developed this guide so that it would fill a gap between uh, guides that are very oriented heavily towards um, information technology folks, very technical, very detailed, and those that are uh, very um, high level for business folks. The idea of this guide is that it's a conversation piece between the two um, communities so that they can look at their systems, analyze them with a questionnaire, and actually have that conversation and use it as a resource for them to do their planning. Okay. How does it help business understand and address risks? Well, there are steps that we work through. Basically, there are a set of uh, five principles that we set out for companies to have a security policy in place. Then we talk about the six actions that get started, get them started in doing that. And then we go into a little bit more um, detail on how to put those principles into practice. Mm -hmm. And then there's the self-assessment questionnaire, which actually spells out different questions. And depending on where you answer those questions, it will give you an idea of how secure and how advanced you are in your program yeah. and uh, where there might be holes and gaps. And then it also makes it clear that this is a repeated process, that you're never going to get to an absolute security state, but the, by putting a program in like this in place, you can mitigate and, and manage the, the risk. Okay, and can you briefly go over for us the five security principles listed in this guide? Sure, sure. The very first one is that you, you want to focus on the information, not the technology. And that goes back to this idea that it's not just an information technology um, IT department question. It really is about a management issue and there are people involved that are very, very important in the process. There's 35% of all um, uh, breaches that are actually happening because of people errors that mm -hmm. could have been avoided. They're not attacks. So this um, focus on what is your most important information and how are you protecting it is, is really the first approach. The second one is having this resilience mindset and that's recognizing again that it's not a question of uh, if, it's a question of when and so you can uh, fulfill your mandates with regard to regulation or frameworks but these get, make you compliant, they don't make you secure. You need to be more advanced than the law. It can't go as fast. And then you need to be prepared to respond. So like in, we talk about in customer service, you know, mistakes will happen, but how you respond is the opportunity that you make. And it's the same for cybersecurity. How you respond is really critical to what damage and, and, and uh, consequences you'll yes. bear. And then there's also this idea of demonstrating a leadership commitment. And this is really where you want this issue not to be right at the top of your business planning so that the board, the executives, the high levels of uh, business governance are involved in the decision making and also are allocating resources, uh, financial and people in training and, and supporting this issue. And then the fifth one of that is to act on the vision. So you spell out these principles, but then you actually put actions into place to, to fulfill this. Okay. And uh, we know you didn't have the opportunity to see Torino again, but you already been in Piemonte. Yeah, I so, have. So what you tell us about our region? I had a fabulous family holiday in Piemonte uh, with my, my husband and my two children. We had uh, we, we stayed in Agriturismo, had a beautiful view over the region with the mountains in the background. We visited the little towns in between Asti and Alba, ah, okay. and uh, it was ex it was exceptional. A very very nice memory. Great. So I hope you have the opportunity to see also Torino. And thank you. Thank you very much for the explanation and uh, thank you. Welcome my pleasure. Back.